Hello and welcome back to How They Keep You In. This is episode three and this is on um, unhappiness. So to review, uh, in, in the first episode we talked about fear of the outside. So if you are in a group, um, they tell you that the outside is evil and they make you afraid of it. And they make you so afraid that you don't even want to look at it. So that you don't know that it's really not evil. Okay? So, episode two, we talked about doubt. And we talked about how people are discouraged from discussing their doubts with one another. Uh, so you could have a community where lots of people are doubting, and but, but they, don't, they don't know. As far as they know, they're all pretending to be, well, they all appear to be believers. They're all pretending, but they don't, they don't know that other people are pretending. So you keep people isolated from one another by uh, preventing them from openly expressing doubt. So this time, I want to talk about how uh, they, they do that with, with all negative emotions. If you get really deep into a cult, uh, you're not supposed to express any negative emotions to one another. So you've probably seen the stereotype of cult members who are like, <laughs> like this, right? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah. So everybody is supposed to do that. Everybody is supposed to put on the cult personality and they're supposed to do do their work for you know the higher cause and nobody knows that they're unhappy and anybody who is unhappy they think there's something wrong with them they think that they're the only one are you talking about all different various type cults yeah so not just like christianity but right all. right but the 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 more the more extreme the more the more they'll they'll do this. Oh, yeah. So now, uh, can uh, so David, can you can you comment on that? Like, do you, can you do you have experiences like this from from your time? Deep well, deep in Christianity. Oh, I was deep. Yeah, I was in the deep end of the pool. Of yeah, Pentecostal fundamentalist Christianity. Well, I can't talk about the other belief systems or cults, but they're yeah. all very similar. Uh, for fundamentalist Christianity, um, when you take the Bible literally, um, yeah, we our happiness uh, or unhappiness based on what we believed, um, and when we were with our fellow Christians or Pentecostal Christians, we were happy. We knew that we felt we felt that this happiness was the Holy Spirit or God or uh, knowing the Bible, knowing Jesus. But we always felt that. If we left it and backslid, that we would lose that sense of of happiness and so forth. So yeah, they they uh, we used to guard ourselves against the outsiders, or like anthropology calls it, the others. Yeah, we didn't want to go out of that little sphere because outside that sphere, you lose your happiness and so forth. Yeah, but once once you got out, you actually found that. Things were, oh, were better. Right? I tell believers all the time. And you know on my YouTube channel, The Preaching Humanist, I talk about these beautiful virtues and human attributes and virtues of love and happiness and joy and all that stuff. They're human. They're not exclusively Christian. But yeah, I mean, I and many other people that let go of Christianity or other religions or cults who are now secular, humanist, atheist, agnostics, whatever, most of us tend to be much happier. Yeah, at least for me, I can say my other friends so much happier. Yeah. yeah. So you know, when I first started learning about cults, they seemed very uh, mysterious to me. But now, now that I understand the process, it really seems sort of, sort of, uh, sort of dumb. It just seems like it, it's it's a it's it's a it's a system for for keeping people isolated from one another even while they're they're together mm -hmm. in the group mm -hmm. and you you get them to 
to express beliefs and you discourage them from from communicating anything that could uh, could could go against those beliefs. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So you get you get people to follow the happiness script mm-hmm. and they all <laughs> they all good. they all do this to each other. Oh, yeah. And then if any of them <clears throat> says, "Well, I'm really unhappy," then then they're all trained to be like, "Well, what's wrong with you?" Like in in Scientology, yeah. they say if Scientology doesn't work on you, then you're a criminal. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> they're very extreme. So, if you say uh if you start acting unhappy with Scientology, everybody else is like, What's wrong? What's, What's wrong going with on with you? You know, you <laughs> so fixed. you don't, yeah. yeah, you know, so you don't want to act unhappy if you're in Scientology, and that's that's how they keep you in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, it's really kind of dumb, but you know, you, you, uh, you, you know, people, people don't don't get in a whole view of the trap that they're in. It's mm-hmm. sort of like uh, you're, you're here. And any any direction you try to go, you experience some kind of uh, punishment, some kind of mm-hmm. social social disapproval. Mm-hmm. And if you understand the the shape of the whole prison, then then you're like, oh, well, I you know I I don't want to be with these people at all. Like they're just not they're not very good friends. Yeah. But. Uh, you, it takes it takes some exploring for for people to see what mm-hmm. what the prison is shaped like. Mm-hmm. But that's what they don't want you to do is explore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there there there's big big social punishments for for exploring it for mm-hmm. so expressing doubt or expressing unhappiness or or dissatisfaction with the organization. All of those things are very suspicious. Mm-hmm. You know. Or, or, or things that, uh, you know, things that, uh, that lead, lead to, to unpleasantness for mm-hmm. the, the members. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think, and the whole concept of eternal damnation in hell was created uh, by the church founders and so forth um, to keep people in line and also, uh, not wanting them to go out and explore, like you say, and find out that you can have a happy, fulfilled life outside of their little dome or their bubble. Yeah, well, that's a good lead-in to the next episode. So, uh, thanks for watching. That's how they keep you in, episode three. So, uh, if you if you feel like uh, you can't express dissatisfaction and unhappiness with uh, your social group that's that's a bad sign so find a new social group i mean it's bad to yeah. be it's bad to be a downer all the time yeah. but uh, you know you should you should be able to to express your your yeah. uh, your unhappiness with your friends and get support rather than uh, you know punishment right life is too short yeah. enjoy life life is too short